please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the national anthem. You may take your seats. Good evening, Mayor Petty, Superintendent Benenda, School Committee Member, Ms. Molly McCullough, Doherty Administration, faculty and staff, family members and friends. And lastly, the class of 2022. My name is Michael Asari, the 2022 Senior Class President. And on behalf of the entire senior class, I'd like to welcome you all to our graduation ceremony. We appreciate the presence of each and every one of you on this joyous occasion. If I'm going to be quite honest, I could never picture this moment. It was always a dream, a goal that felt unattainable requiring all the hard work and dedication to get here. This senior class was thrown for a loop this entire journey, throughout these four years just to reach this moment. We had two years of our high school experience taken from us due to COVID-19. We were sitting at home in front of our Chromebooks fighting to stay awake. We kept searching for that motivation to keep excelling in school just to reach this moment here. We eventually reached a point where it was time to close out of that last Google Meet and start waking up at 5.30 in the morning again to get ready to head back to that school building. It was a bittersweet moment. We would finally get to socialize with our friends again, but there was no room for excuses. Things were slowly reverting to normal, except that we were no longer sophomores that used to roam the hallways. We were seniors. We were the new leaders of the school. We were the example that the underclassmen were to follow. In addition, we also had the task of deciding the next steps that we wanted to take in life. Whether it be beginning the college process, heading to the military, or going straight into the workforce. If that weren't enough, we had to deal with the syndrome that all, syndromes, that all seniors have had to face, senioritis. Despite being given all these challenges, we still made it out on top. It's time. Those words were Coach McKay's parting gift to the senior football players. 
Those two words hold so much weight. It signifies the beginning and the end. It's the end of our time as Doherty students, but the beginning of our time as the leaders we were always destined to be. This is the beginning of a new era. It's time for us to venture into the world and be the change we wish to see. I want to thank the entire senior class for the four years that we've shared digitally and physically together. I want to thank my family, especially my mother and grandmother. Not too many people know how hard, how hard it is to raise five children on your own. Thank you for trying your best to push and support me into the direction of success. I also want to thank all my close friends. The final four Power Rangers were all friends now and Margie who was sadly sent home to Ghana. You guys have been one of my strongest support systems and I love and appreciate each and every one of you for positively impacting my life in ways that you wouldn't realize. I'm almost finished. I only have a few sentences left. I want to thank Mr. Cummings, Ms. Nacho, and the long list of other teachers. You all have helped me get to where I am in one way or, or another, and have taught me many things aside from the curriculum, and for that, I will forever be grateful. Lastly, I would like to thank God, because without him, none of my accomplishments would have been made possible. To the class of 2022, I wish you all the best of luck and congratulations. <laughs> now to introduce our valedictorian, Arba Kimberry. Arba has accomplished many things during her last four years, such as receiving the Harvard Book Award and being a two-time UMass City Art Show awardee. She has also received multiple scholarships, such as the Alice W. Miles Scholarship, Summer B. Tilton Memorial Scholarship, and the John and Frank Duke Scholarship. Arba will be attending Harvard University in the fall. Please join me in welcoming our class valedictorian, Arba Kimberry. Mayor Petty, Superintendent Benenda, Principal Maloney, Ms. McCullough, faculty, teachers, family, and friends, thank you for attending and celebrating this achievement with us all. It is my sincere pleasure to be speaking to you all tonight. It is my even greater pleasure to be up here on behalf of the class of 2022. To my classmates and friends, I thank you. To my parents, Ariana and Arben, and my sisters, Marita and Dea, Thank you for supporting me this far. I can't believe how fast this day has come, to be standing up on stage only to shortly walk across it and graduate. Our time here felt brief, but it has been the greatest honor to have experienced all of this with the class of 2022. If there's anything I've realized during my four years here, it's this. We will emerge this year as a solid net of friendships and memories, still perspective for new experiences. A couple of weeks ago, I remember the senior class fervently bustling in the hallways and mingling in classes. After AP exams, after finals, and after all the grit of schoolwork, everyone started to concurrently relax and reconvene with each other. On these notable occasions, it was warm. Warm as in Doherty's unstable AC system, <laughs> but also warm with the excitement of our last time gathering together. Whether it was sitting in a classroom stuffed to the brim with students signing yearbooks, or relishing that final walk in the halls. I felt wholly at ease and hopeful for the future. I felt empowered by you all. I wanna stress how critical it is to be part of a community like the one we fostered, to have someone text you about missing homework, to make a group chat titled APCSA or AP Lit and share daily occurrences with each other, to collectively sign out of Zoom calls when teachers say we can, to shuffle pencil cases moments before the bell, to start screaming once lights go out in the halls, to sit with each other at lunch, talk, join clubs, go to sports games. This is Doherty's community. It's within each of these close circles and fluid friendships that treasured memories like these emerge. And in truth, it's the same community that made me love school. 
I'm going to be honest, there are a lot of surprised faces when I just say, I love to learn. So that's one of the more subtle reasons. But here at Doherty, we relish the latent potency of our classmates. We aspire to promote and uplift one another. I love the feeling of being with all of you here. I'm proud of being with you all here in a shared space, savoring the common characteristic of 22. We know that there is something that will bind us post-graduation, and this makes me infinitely hopeful for our futures. I'm infinitely hopeful sitting down and listening to everyone, how complex and beautiful and interesting you all are, and feeling profound respect in your presences. I don't think it's an understatement when I say that I love you guys. <laughs> you all invoke an aura of possibility and zeal for the future. Those who know what they want to do and those who don't know what they want to do nevertheless move forward with the excitement and energy of their high school years. And despite COVID cutting our junior year off, we found joy in the extra hours of sleep during the day or in concurrent voice calls, and we emerged with resilience. To all of us here today, I'm glad we're graduating in person. We're so lucky to have something like this, something to look forward to in the coming times, to have seen each other grow and continue to grow, to nestle together here in bulk at graduation only a day before our future. It's comforting and yet strange. We'll separate and even still, We'll long for the forthcoming days when we'll suddenly recall a friend's name, point out an ever-elusive but heartening memory from school, or say hi when time will allow it to. We have an entire future to use what we have, to employ the feelings of passion and hope we've garnered, so I say run with it. I leave you all with this. We've worked hard for four years, and they all know that. It's time for us to relax and to enjoy ourselves. Enjoy the passage of time. Enjoy the memories. Enjoy the journey. Enjoy life. Find greatness in each other and in your endeavors. As Ralph Waldo Emerson said, make the most of yourself, for that is all there is of you. To this year's class of 2022, congratulations. We finally made it. Miss Sally Maloney has been a dedicated member of the Doherty community since 2001 and the principal of Doherty Memorial High School since 2002. Each and every day, she encourages and inspires us to be the best that we can be, to be kind to one another, to be supportive of each other, and to strive to make our school and our community a little bit better each and every day. Miss Maloney takes the time not only to listen to us, but to really hear what we have to say. She, treat, she treats us each of us with dignity and respect, kindness and care, and empathy and compassion. Please join me in welcoming our principal, Miss Sally Maloney. Thanks, Sean. Good evening, Mayor Petty, Superintendent Benenda, members of the school committee, Molly McCullough on stage, Tracy O'Connell Novick in the audience, manager of secondary education, Tim Sippel, faculty and staff of Doherty High, parents, guardians, families, friends, and members of the class of 2022. It's my distinct pleasure to welcome you to the 56th commencement ceremony for Doherty Memorial High School. Tonight is truly a celebration of the accomplishments of the class of 2022. It's also a celebration of the collective efforts of all the people who have contributed to the success of these students. To the parents, guardians, grandparents, siblings, and other family members here tonight, on behalf of all of us at Darty High School, I wish to extend our deepest gratitude for allowing us to work with such a fine group of young people. We're truly honored to have had the honor to partner with you in their education and are grateful for having been entrusted with such an important task. For all that you have done throughout the years to help these students to be here tonight as this wonderful class that they are, and for always supporting our school, we thank you. Tonight is also a celebration of the efforts of the administration, faculty, and staff of Doherty High. Thanks to the assistant principals for all that they do to support the school, Mr. Bowler, Mr. Capstick, Mr. Staley, and Mr. Whalen. I'm fortunate to have this administrative team, and I truly appreciate their daily efforts. Thanks to all who helped to prepare for the events of this evening, especially Steve Bachalia, Judy Fairful, Carol Hoffman, Dan Sullivan, John DeLore, Carolyn Waters, and Peter Bowler. And thanks to the faculty and staff, I'm very fortunate to have such a talented group of people with whom to work. 
Thank you for your continued and diligent efforts to provide our students with meaningful opportunities, guidance, and support for success. You are to be commended for your dedication to your profession and for your commitment to our students. There are three members of the staff who have upcoming retirement plans. They are Barbara McCune, Marie Burrison, and Tina Serignano. You have demonstrated a tireless commitment to teaching and learning. While your daily presence will be missed, your impact on the lives of students will continue for a long time. Please know you will always have a special place in our hearts. We wish you good health and a wealth of happiness as you enter a new phase of life. And most importantly, to the members of the class of 2022, you're a wonderful group of young people who will surely continue to do great things in the future. As a class, you've reached high levels of academic achievement and supported each other in these endeavors. You've maintained our school's commitment to academic excellence and have supported one another in these achievements. Members of this class have been, have been accepted to over 200 different schools and have earned millions of dollars in scholarships. In addition to these accomplishments, you've excelled athletically. Shout out to girls softball tomorrow, 3.30. Watch you sit. <laughs> you've excelled athletically and artistically, and you've given to our community in many ways. At the topping off ceremony for our new building, which that young person's gonna go to, <laughs> um, former city manager Ed Augustus stated, young people represent 20% of our population and 100% of our future. Given your accomplishments to date, the future looks bright. You've maintained the commitment to excellence of Darty High and creative, creatively added your own mark of distinction. Your contributions to our school will remain in the hearts and minds of all who have been fortunate enough to work with you. And thank you for signing the beam for the new building. You have effectively left your mark on both buildings. When there was someone in need, you helped. When there was fun to be had, you participated. You've repeatedly demonstrated your commitment to your talents and strengths, your classmates, and your school. Whether your plans include additional schooling, work, or the military, you're well prepared for the future. You truly are a great group of people. When asked to describe this class, members of the staff replied with words such as adaptable, flexible, compassionate, caring, enthusiastic, committed, determined, caring, respectful, community-oriented, and fun-loving. It's clear that you know how to work hard, have fun, help others, and show appreciation. These qualities will surely serve you well wherever life takes you. It's been a pleasure spending your high school years with you, especially this one when we could be together for the entire year and hold all activities. I'm proud to be your principal, a member of your Doherty family, and your friend. Congratulations on your accomplishment that we're celebrating this evening. I wish you continued success and a wealth of happiness. And in the words of Jason Aldean, tonight looks good on you. Good evening. It is my pleasure to introduce our next speaker, Mayor Joseph M. Petty. Mayor Petty is serving his sixth two-year term as mayor and his 13th two-year term as city councilor at large. He is also the executive secretary to the Employees Retirement System of the Massachusetts Housing Finance Agency. Mayor Petty grew up in Worcester and is a graduate of Holy Name Central Catholic High School. He received a Bachelor's of Science in Business Administration from Nichols College and a law degree from New England School of Law, Boston. He and his wife, Gail, are the parents of two sons, Andrew and Joseph, and their daughter, Nicole. Please join me in welcoming Mayor Joseph M. Petty. Thank you, Warren. Good evening, everyone. School Committee Member Molly McCullough, School Committee Member Novick, Superintendent Dr. Sippel, Principal Maloney, 
And I just want to recognize also uh, city councilors who are in the room tonight here with us. City Councilor Sean Rose, whose daughter Anna is graduating. City Councilor Christian King, whose daughter Alexandra is graduating. And also our Parks Commissioner Rob Antonelli, whose daughter Abby is graduating. And also to the teachers, the, para, the para educators, the educators, the entire staff at Doherty High School, and also the families and friends of the graduates, and of course, the class of 2022. Give them a hand there. I am here tonight to recognize the Doherty Memorial High School students' achievement of graduating from the Worcester Public Schools and to add my congratulations. I first want to start by thanking all the educators, paraeducators, staff, administrators, cafeteria workers, bus drivers, and all the staff at Doherty High School for their working so hard to get this class over the finish line. These last years were incredibly challenging, not just for our students, but for our staff as well. Thank you for your truly heroic work throughout the pandemic. I want to add my special thank you to Superintendent Maureen Benenda. Over the course of her career, Superintendent Benenda was a teacher, assistant field hockey coach, a lifeguard, cheerleading coach, eventually becoming a principal, and finally superintendent. On June 30th, Superintendent Maureen Benenda will be retiring for the first time in 46 years. She will no longer be a Worcester Public School employee. Please give a round of applause and thank you, Maureen Benenda. <laughs> and to the students, I know that your experience in high school has been unlike any other generation before yours. You have all worked hard and weathered the effects of COVID-19 pandemic, along with everyone else in our city. I know how disorienting that time was for so many of us, and I know that the effects were not felt evenly across our city. You students here should be extra proud of yourselves. We are proud of your strength in the journey that brought you here today. There were bright spots in the pandemic, like all of you here tonight. The city of Worcester grew more than ever before. Coming out of COVID-19, we had a pretty clear view of the challenges and equities that which were exasperated by the pandemic like broadband access, the need for rental assistance for business and residents, and food insecurity. Every level of government, from our Congressman Jim McGovern to our exceptional state delegation to right here on the ground in Worcester, we all work together to address these issues. In these extraordinary times, we saw an extraordinary collaboration and coordination across every sector of our city and society. These problems are not solved, but it's important to remember that we are all capable of great things when we work together. Despite the pandemic, Polar Park opened along with the new South Memorial High School, and the work at Doherty Memorial High School continues. I attended a ribbon cutting for an immigrant-owned businesses, and, over the well, and, and, and our city welcomed over 700 new residents from the country of Af Afghanistan. I say this to remind you that despite the worldwide pandemic that we all face, truly the hardest period in my two decades of public office, you struggled forward together and miracles occurred every day in the city of Worcester. For those of you who are going away to college or military service, wherever your dreams are taking you, my only request is that you come back and share your greatness. Go make or become something great and come back and share it with the city of Worcester. For those of you who are sticking around in the city of Worcester, see the possibilities and opportunities in our city and in your hometown. More importantly, for you all, share your gifts, your talents, your opinions with our city. Last month, I spoke at a naturalization ceremony for new Americans. I will tell them, I will tell you exactly what I told them. The city of Worcester is your home. We are yours and you are ours. Wherever you go, whatever you do, you're a graduate of the Worcester Public Schools and nothing can change that. I could not be prouder of all of you. Congratulations to the class of 2022. Good evening. It is my pleasure to introduce our next speaker, school committee member Molly O. McCullough. A lifelong resident of Worcester, Ms. McCullough is serving her fourth term on the Worcester School Committee. A graduate of UMass Amherst, Molly earned a master's degree in business administration from Nichols College in 2007. Ms. McCullough is an active volunteer and has served and continues to serve on many area boards, including Planting the Seed Foundation, of which she is a chair and founding member. 
Miss McCullough lives in Worcester with her husband, Donald Hubin, and enjoys spending time with her stepsons, Tiernan and Brayden. Please join me in welcoming Miss Molly McCullough. Thank you. Good evening, graduates, parents, family, friends, administrators, educators, Superintendent Benenda, Mayor Petty, fellow school committee members. It is a pleasure to be here tonight and celebrate with all of you. I know you've heard many speeches tonight and are anxious to celebrate, so I will keep my comments brief. Congratulations to all the families, students, and educators who have worked very hard. The last few years have brought many unique challenges, to say the least. So kudos to all of you for sticking it out and seeing it through. I'm particularly excited to be speaking at this graduation because I know many of the students and their families here this evening, including my niece, Anna Rose. <laughs> Seeing so many familiar faces amongst the graduates really drives home how quickly time truly flies. For you as graduates, it might not seem as though these last 12 years or more of your education have flown by, but for those of us who held you in our arms when you were babies, helped you with your homework, or supported you along the way, we feel quite differently. So a big congratulation is in order, also, for all the caregivers and educators who have helped you get to this point. Now it's your time to go beyond the walls of the Worcester Public Schools, but know that all of these people who supported you through the years will still be there when you need them. Know that your Doherty community and the Worcester community will always be your community, no matter where life may take you. There are lyrics from a song by the group Semisonic that say, every new beginning comes from some other beginning's end. This is exactly where you all are this evening, the ending of the beginning of your education. It may be an ending, but it will lead to your new beginnings. Whether off to college, into the military, or into the workforce, new beginnings await all of you. I hope that you all look at this chapter as one with a happy ending and wish you all the best in your new beginnings. Congratulations again. I wish you all the best. Mrs. Maureen Benenda is a passionate advocate for community engagement and service and shares that passion with the students of the Worcester Public School in her role as a parent, a teacher, an administrator, and now as our superintendent. Her commitment to the students of Worcester and her belief in providing opportunities for success for all students has guided her work with the Worcester Public Schools. Mrs. Benenda earned a Bachelor of Science degree and a Master of Education degree from Fitchburg State University and a Master's of Education degree in Administrative Planning and Social Policy from Harvard University. Please join me in welcoming our superintendent, Maureen Benenda. Welcome, everyone. And, and thank you. The word that um, he spoke about is opportunity. And that's what I want to talk to all of you about today. I'm honored to speak to invited guests, faculty of Darty High, parents, caregivers, and the students of the class of 2022. Thank you to our parents, grandparents, and caregivers of our graduates for partnering with Worcester Public Schools as we all work together for the success of our students. Thank you to Principal Sally Maloney, her administrative team, and the entire staff of Doherty High School. You have all established a trusting relationship with our students and families that have supported the growth of every student. It is your commitment to excellence and personal relationships you have provided to these students that have prepared tonight's graduate for future success. I ask the Doherty faculty to please stand and be recognized. Thank you. I'm honored to be addressing the Highlanders. Highlander mean those who reach new heights. The class of 2022 has brought honor and a commitment to excellence to Doherty High and the Worcester Public Schools in the areas of academics, 
music, theater, athletics. As you graduate from Doherty, I hope you will soar to new heights, to continue to reach higher than before. Poet T.S. Eliot says, only those who will risk going too far can possibly find out how far one can go. With graduation comes new opportunities. Opportunities are the venues where people can try, test, better, and even find themselves. So when looking for opportunities, say yes more often. Take advantage of opportunities in life starts with simply saying yes to them when they come around. Don't hesitate. Take more risks. Have a positive attitude. Meet more people. Be curious, focus, make a decision and stick with it. Create your own opportunities. Understand who you are before you start the journey of finding or creating an opportunity. Believe in what you offer. Step out of your comfort zone. Remain open to new ideas. Create good karma and be decisive. There are many wise quotes on opportunities. I'll share a few of my favorite. If opportunity doesn't knock, you build the door. Victory comes from finding opportunities in life's problems. Be an optimist. See the opportunity in every difficulty. Graduates, every day, reach higher. Expect more of yourself than the day before. Opportunity is everywhere. The key will be to develop the vision, vision to see it. Congratulations to the class of 2022. The class of 2022 has received numerous and very well-deserved awards. There are just a few that I would like to present tonight. I'm going to ask um, Superintendent Benenda to join me. The first award is presented to a student who exemplifies compassion, strength of character, and determination. This student is focused and motivated to succeed while demonstrating the willingness, willingness to help and encourage others along the way. He's the ninth student in his family to graduate from Doherty High School. His name is Andrew Thomas. The next student can best be described as motivated, supportive, and compassionate. Their determination to succeed while assisting and supporting both friends and families serves as a model for others. This student's warm personality and serious approach has led to both academic and extracurricular success. She's a role model for her younger siblings. The award is for Rachel Baroom. Tonight I'm going to do something a little different and I hope you'll indulge me for a moment. So the Georgia Marie Maloney Scholarship Fund for Future Educators that we started when we lost, uh, when my parents passed away, my siblings and I, and several people have donated and we appreciate it, um, is presented to Doherty graduates who express a desire to further their education at Worcester State University in preparation to enter the field of education, hopefully in Worcester, to help others to grow and learn. They were two lifelong Worcester residents, graduates of the Worcester Public Schools, um, master's degrees at Worcester State University, and dedicated Worcester Public School educators. George and Marie Maloney believed in the value of education, consideration of others, and a commitment to service, and they sought to instill these values in their family and these student, in their students. I'm honored to represent my family in presenting, these are the first, 
Georgia Marie Maloney Scholarship for Future Educa Educators to Natalie Roman and Nazaret Reyes Benitez. There's one other person I want to recognize tonight. I need Lauren, Helper, uh, Lauren Harper's help. Um, to Mrs. Benanda, <laughs> on behalf of the Doherty community, I'd like to thank Maureen Benanda for her 46 years of service to the Worcester Public Schools. Um, <laughs> I, oh, there we go. Maureen Benenda is a parent of a Doherty graduate, um, a friend to our school, a friend of mine personally, um, has supported Doherty High and, and all of us in many ways. Um, you were a colleague of mine as a principal, super, although you didn't stay 20 years as a principal. <laughs> um, but, um, and, and we appreciate your work as a superintendent and um, we'll miss you and we wish you well. And now, I need Mr. Bowler to start the presentation of the diplomas. We would ask that you hold your applause, if you would, so all the graduates can hear their names called. Thank you very much. Valedictorian, Arba Camberry. <laughs> Class President, Michael Asare Larbi. Vice President, Sean Christopher Noderft. <laughs> Class Secretary, Ariana Akua Asante. <laughs> Class Treasurer, Lauren Elizabeth Harper. And now the students that graduated with high honors. Darty Agoli. Denise Isabel Andre Diaz. Vanessa Ansong. Abigail Ashley Antonelli. George Ayude, Innocentia Abba Apaya, Santiago Elias Baez, Rachel Barume. Ariana Anderson Belsito. Sean Edward Belton. Melina Bazzati.
Angelica Maria Boudreau Esquinas. Colin Theodore Bourget. Michael George Boutros. Catherine Rose Bresnahan. Zulma Carreno. Luis Enrique Castellanos Jacome. Bonell Junior Chateau. Thomas Joseph Cleary. Sendaya Decal. Benjamin Emerson Donahue. Margaret Florence Dowd. Maya Renee Faulkner. Alexandra Marie Fisher. Brianna Riley Fisher. Elisa Garcia Corniolo. Leo. Emma Lee Genotic. John Paul Gomez Reyes. Crailing Del Pilar Guerrero Dominguez. Maxwell Hannes. Kenda Mahmoud Hassan. Jack Elliot Hastings. Grace Catherine Henderson. Ava Tomei Hurley. Doxia Yanni. Gerald Philip Jennings. Cedric Jismigian. Tiffany Kago. Prajwal Karwas. Abigail Karitzi. Joshua Conadu. Kevin Koroveshi. Maeve Beatrice Lagorse. Jack Martin Lang. Lucy May Lang. Lindsay Elizabeth Litko.
Joshua Robert Lemieux. Ariana Marie Letourneau. Suman Magar. Biona Mail. Tamer Mohammed Mansoor. Juliana Manchari. Albi Marini. Corinne Elise Marquardt. Ian Manuel Marrero Rodriguez. Isabella Ann Maroney. Salinas Marie Matias. Lillian Colette McDormand. Lee Angela McNally. Rakila Mihilari. Ella Catherine Miluski. Wendy Malaj. Eleanor Catherine Murray. Nora Francis Murray. Simone Elise May Nelson White. Anella Njelo. Elio Njelo. Kathy Nguyen. Cody Nguyen. Aaron Kofi Sarpo Nemo. Jake Matthew O'Donnell. Isabel Christine Ocala. Ilya Pavliki. Antonia Peltiku. Jaco de Souza Pereira. Victoria Lily Peters. Joshua Douglas Petke. Dylan Tan Fong Pham. Kaden Min Tri Farm. Isabel Jean Piscator. Olivia Pontias. Rose. 
those powers. Nathan Robert June Prentice. Myrie Marie Rodriguez Carella. Anna Catherine Rose. Nacion Streppi. Lucia Spajo. Lauren Ashley Stein. Clevy Soulage. Liana Taraj. Oliana Tego. Fabiola Telhai. Alyssa Tran. Stephen Tran. Adela Vasili. Lee Catherine Vasiliitis. Malika Wakadio. Colin Matthew Wanit. Bernard Emery. Madeline Teresa Zafon Whalen. Lillian Rose Zabras. Anesti Zaguro. And now the students that graduated with honors. Andrews Anponsa. Andy Abchihu. Trishna Bujel. Ava Lynn Bogosian. Jared Lawton Brown Jr. Caleb Bruno. Emily Rose Case. Elier Alexander Cordero Venero. Jeremy De La Cruz. Kyle Hui Do. <laughs> Helen Dorma Boadu. <laughs> Archie Logan Garmacoli. <laughs> Amelia Marie Granger.
Gabriel Alejandro Guzman de la Cruz. Jacora Nairi Hampton. Quinlan Francis Harity. Tyler Omari Henry. Robert Joseph Hokinson. Abdifada Aiden Isaac. Aaron Isaiah Julu. Viona Aaron Kalemi. Anita Elika Kermani. Hala Kokaz. Stavrula Kiriatsis. Vilma Lamage. Nicholas Mansovice. Corey Margaret McGinnis. Darielis Alana Medina Serpa. Teddy Mitchell. <laughs> Dot Lee Fook Nguyen. <laughs> Irene Odie Ockenton. Malachi Pierre. <laughs> Stephen Pilko. <laughs> Nazareth Ariel Reyes Benitez. <laughs> Darwin Noel Reyes Reyes. Leana Marie Rivera. Henry Ivan Rodriguez. Marina Seiko. Nicole Stephanie Sarmiento. Hung Tai Son. <laughs> Jose Luis Cavalcante. <laughs> Thomas John Stake. <laughs> Andrew Luke Thomas. Nathali Torres Veras. Grace Jeanette Tuagolo. Alteo Zanelli.
Joseph Michael Abasha. Jacob Christian Acevedo. Varangelis Adorno. Nana Kwasi Adu Pepra. Isa Solan Alkamiz. Ariani Alcantara Miguel. Yuret Alisea Medina. Aaron Almonte Burgos. Paola Milagros Alvarado Alvarado. Carlos Rafael Andino. Brianna Owusu Apia. Matthew Arellano. Kofi Bafor Asare. Messiah Kusi Atacora. Samuel Avenom. Damien Ayrton. Pedro Omar Baez Jr. Nader Khaled Baker. Emmanueline Barjolo. Joseph Michael Murphy Benoit. Malte Leif Blackwood. Ethan Marshall Bombretti. Uh, Amari Adele Budwani. Thomas Edward Brackett. Jonathan Prince Brunius. Jackson Kingsley Burden. Andre Cappy. Marcos Cedeno Teneo. Olivia Grace Salucci. Kaylee Noel Cherry. Haley Rose Cherusik. Abimilik Cintron Garcia. Tania Clark. Tyreek Coleman.
Marilyn Victoria Condi. Christopher Josiah Conley Turner. Casey Jordan Kumi. Madison Cecilia Coolyard. Ben Joseph Cudback. Ryan Anton Denault. Nayeli Altagracia de la Cruz de la Cruz. Antonio Miguel Agana Diaz. Javier Diaz Jr. Yoslin Adalia Diaz. Aiden Robert Duby. Jasmine Olivia Elfman. Saley Encarnacion. Juliana Espinal Rosario. Luke Anthony Evers. Melvin William Escalante Avalos. Zachary Robert Alexander Feliciano. Ty Ganya. Eliana Janelle Green. Diani Genesis Guadalajara. Pradik Gurung. Jaden Moises Guzman. That's it, Jaden. Cheyenne Sally Olga Guzman Rios. Sama Wassam Adujil Habib. Tobias Daniel Hare. Liam Francis Hardigan. <laughs> Kenesis Lee Hernandez.
Mary Lee's Hernandez. Lizzie Allison Herrera. Callie Emerald Holland. Timmy Hu. Zachary Jess. Diana Yalise Jimenez. Phil Johnson. Jordan Evan Jones. Nazir Elijah Jones. Christine Nock Cha Koo. Jasmine Wambui Kibunja. Osborne Kwabina Conadu. Isaiah John Kapare. Vincent Wariru Kungu. Nana Kwame Kwapong. Aman Lalami. Jacob Anthony LaPierre. Alexander Joseph Lazon Sariva. My Key DM Lee. Kyle Brady Layton. Olivia Annette Long. Oasis Alanis Lugo Velez. Henry Xavier Luna Aponte. Liam Thomas Mahoney. Christian A. Maldonado. Giuliani Maldonado. Giasi Mafo. Lazarus Emmanuel Martinez. Wilbur Martinez. Tyler James Mason. Ivy Winter McDormand. Liam Kellen McKinney. Zachary Daniel McWilliams. Elijah Carlos Melendez. Marisol Catilia Melendez. Jason Alves Mendez.
Samantha Shea McCock. Saif Al Islam Jasim Mohammed. Dylan Taylor Mosley. Heather Ann O'Connor. William George O'Connor. Kanichi Wu Keith Okoli. Francisco Ortiz. Josiah Christian Ortiz. Shay Christopher Perlman. Got you, man. Nicole Perez Rivera. Aiden Sharkey Phelan. Mateos Kados Suarez. Natalie Edith Ramon. Brian Luis Ramos Santiago. Okay. Jesus Emmanuel Remigio Lopez. Christian Omar Rivera. Samuel J. Rivera. Carlos Andre Rodriguez, Jr. Jaziel Shalom Rodriguez, Pena. Kareem Lee Rose Simon. Paige Liberty Ryan. Sebastian Alejandro Sanchez Sarmiento. Kalisha Liz Sandoval Cruz. Jarolette Casilda Santiago. Brian Arturo Santian. Murillo Oliveira Santos. Samuel Bernard Schaefer Richards. Lorena Shehu. Clevy Shirali. Avian Stephen Smith. Kyle J. Soto Santiago. Tomas Stefaniari. Isaiah Anthony Stewart. Sarmila Suba. Caitlin Ann Sullivan. Amir Tamang. Ike Tito.
Leandre Thompson. Felicia Marie Thorin. Tyrell Germain Torres. Randy Yomar Torres Miranda. Jeremy Urbaez Matos. Alibi Ushi. Leonardo Andrew Valera. John C. Carolina Valle Cuellar. Eric Jose Vargas Aleman. Caesar Miguel Vasquez Rodriguez. Michael Andre Vasquez Guayman. Yelixere Vega. Jose Ambrosio Ventura Villatoro. Mizell Aquisi Vilbrun. Feliz David Seguia Walusimbi. Dej Anthony Withers. Luis Mario Zambrano Alfonso. Abdullah Zanuba. And Biashka Delia. At this time, would the members of the class of 2022 please stand? Okay. Please turn your tassel from the right to the left. It's my pleasure, it's my pleasure to present to all of you Doherty Memorial High School's class of 2022. Congratulations. 